To score runs is, is always good. I mean, I was happy to get my opportunity. Um, it's been quite a long year. Um, opportunities few and far between, so to take my chance when I got it, I think, yeah, I'm really happy with that. You seem to be batting very fluently. Is that a conscious decision to change the way you're playing, or was that just how it worked out? Uh, a little bit of both, I think. Um, it's a good, obviously a good wicket. Um, a few loose deliveries to help me get going. Um, and then just trying to play with as much confidence as I can. Um, not put too much pressure on myself with it being my first game so late on in the season. You don't want to put too much pressure on yourself. Um, but yeah, in the end, it felt really good. Um, and also the other guys as well, Lammers and... Pepsi there as well, um, played really well, made it quite easy for me out there. Pepsi, Cola, being Tom Cola, yep. Cadmore. But it must have been uh, a frustrating season for you, not being given your chance to play first team cricket in the Championship. Yeah, it has been frustrating, I suppose, after, after quite, a, quite a good year last year. Um, but then we've obviously strengthened in the batting order um, and guys scoring runs, so... Yeah, look, it's been frustrating, but I think I can take a lot of learnings from it. Um, and like I said, to score 100 at home, first one at home, um, it's a good day. There was an extraordinary incident um, mid-morning when you were approaching your, yeah. your, your century when you were bowled by a chunk of your own bat yeah. off what turned out to be a no-ball. Has that ever happened, to, or anything like that ever happened to you before? No. Um, I had no idea it was a no-ball either, so I thought I was just out. Um, but, uh, the keeper told me that it was a no-ball. Um, no, it was, it was a weird moment. Um, obviously, a little bit of stroke of luck there for me, but... Um, I was happy to capitalise on it and go on to get three, three figures. It would have been a stroke of pretty bad luck if it hadn't yeah. been a no ball. <laughs> Probably went from a bit of unluck to some luck there in the end. But um, yeah, I was, I was happy to, to obviously make some runs in front of the home crowd. Um, the weather's been a little bit annoying, but when we've got out there, I feel like we play really well this game. You were batting at, at number three. Is, is that a position you enjoy playing at? Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't mind it. I, do it quite a lot for the second team. Um, actually, opened last week for the second team. Um, but yeah, I think with Abe going up up top, obviously Dicko missing this game, um, I thought it just made sense for me to slot in at number three. Now, what about the state of the game? Game plan tomorrow: go on to the fifth fifth batting point and then take as many kid wickets as possible. Uh, yeah, potentially. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, with a little bit of weather around, maybe as well. I mean, it's going to be tough to try and force anything, but. As many points as we can from this game would be a help. Is it going to be hard to take wickets on, on what still has the appearance of being a pretty flat pitch? Yeah, I mean, I think you can still see there's, there's balls out there that do move, do deviate. Um, I think it's just a case of trying to stay around off stump for as long as you can. Um, and obviously we've got some class bowlers. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes tomorrow. And how did this century compare with your previous century against uh, Lancashire? up at Southport uh, last season? Um, different weather conditions. <laughs> um, uh, probably played a little bit more fluently here. Um, but, South, yeah, Southport, my first one, probably a little bit more excited about it. But this one, you know, having not played all year, um, to come in and score a 100 is really pleasing. Well, you played some beautiful shots and, and well done. Well, best. Thank you, Cheers.